We brought you a story about EFC fighter Mzwandi Lehlongwa at uh, EFC 75 in Cape Town this last Saturday. He knocked out uh, Torbjörn Madsen and the footage went viral and caused a worldwide sensation. Now I'm delighted to say that the man himself joins us live in the studio along with his trainer Ferdi Bosson as uh, well as our usual mm -hmm. suspects. Good to see you again. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming to the studio. Thank Ferdi, good much. to have you. Mzwandile, good to see you. Well, let me take the first question to the coach himself before we get the comments of the man of the moment. Uh, how do you coach a punch like that, Ferdi? And does it, was it a fluke? I think that's the first question we should ask. No, I wish, I wish you could say it was a fluke. Now, that has been trained for the last four months, probably. Um, Mzwandile, you know, comes from a karate background. So spinning, spinning stuff has always been his forte. We started using it in, in uh, the sparring, and we you know, refined it a little bit, and eventually it started landing. Um, yeah, that was the result you could, uh, you could see on the highlights. Nam Zondile, when it comes to the, the, this particular fight and that knockout, uh, you know, where does it rank in terms of your, your fights in the past? Uh, this one is so different, and uh, mm. you cannot go far, because we see now he's wearing the, the whole weight. Mm. For myself, it's like... It's amazing, you know, I mean, it's like it's first time I'm doing this thing, but I was always thinking about coming something like different because they call us a martial, mixed martial artist. Yeah. So we need to create our style so to attract more people. So this one is going to be like, as you see, man, it's yeah. very, very helpful, this one, man. It's different, amazing. Zonil, my question to you is that uh, since, the, of course, that went viral, when you walk on the street, People, do they actually identify you as the guy who, you know, created such a big, big uh, occasion in EFC? Yeah, man. Uh, like, today, it was something shocked me. I was doing the Tembisa stuff. Uh, those guys, we carry, we're calling the um, street kids, you know. They were aiming at their phone. They say, you are one to the show, man. They say, yeah, they say, we're always following the AFC. So <laughs> it's like, what's amazing? And now I was rushing. They say, what's the picture with you? I say, guys, for now, no time. But next time, I'm going to visit them. So now it's people, they can't recognize me, man. Oh, it's more different, stuff. yeah. Now, now Ferdi, what, what next now from Zondile after that? Um, you know, uh, EFC's next uh, event is now December, but we're definitely taking a little bit of a time off. He's been had two fights in the last four months. So we're looking at uh, March again, um, definitely approaching a few sponsors. Yeah. Um, and yeah, capitalizing off this, uh, this major event for the sport. How big is the sport in South Africa now? Well, you know, if, if you look at the, just at a live event and the, the amount of people that didn't get there, five, 6,000 people, yep. uh, and then naturally on, on uh, television, it's, it's got a massive following. Yeah, it's probably we're probably ranking about in the top five sports in South Africa. Wow, yeah. and Zonil, of course, you hail from KZN. How many other young fighters aspire to you know achieve what you've achieved? It's too much. Lots of them. There are lots of people in Japan that are following me now. Then they say uh, they want to be like me. Uh, they don't believe because I'm coming from rural area. I'm not coming from township. I'm from Rural era, Pamshela. So most of them want to be like me, and uh, I always say, guys, it's about hard work and belief, and don't think it's about money. Think about love first and passion. So the work, you're always gonna pay. Uh, listen, I want, I want to be like you. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not only those kids. It's yeah. Oh man, easy. So, so his next fight is now coming up I in March. Yeah, we will, we will chat to the matchmaker of EFC and see. You know what's next up um, naturally from here it's just getting more and more difficult any invitations uh, you know since the uh, this video has gone viral from overseas um yeah there's been one or two chats that we, we're busy engaging with mm -hmm. um we'll see where, where we go i had an interesting chat today with uh, some guys in the uk yeah so we'll see we'll see what we can develop from there if you, if you keep uh, if you keep watching we, we might uh, shock you guys <laughs> <laughs> right how, how old are you so neat 28. Is that, in terms of age-wise, is that uh, uh, you've still got a long way to go in the sport? Is yeah. It, is that, um, it's kind of like in the middle in terms of... Uh, you know, it, it's, it's not just about age, it's also about mileage, there, like we say. Yeah. And I think, you know, his mileage is still pretty low, um, so he's got a good 10 years to go still. If there's, if there's no serious injuries, 10 years easy. Mm. Fantastic. And my final question to Ferdi, um, how did you get hold of this uh, young gym, and are there many others in your gym in Boxburg? Yeah, we've got quite a few fighters. Um, Zondile's story is a little bit different. As we said, he comes from Kulu Natal. Um, he actually spoke to one of his old um, karate uh, teachers, 
And Solly used to train with me, and Solly said, no, you must come up with me. And then one evening, we spoke at the EFC, and then uh, a few weeks later, he pitched up at the gym, and that's where we started. Mm. Wow. Awesome. All right, before we let you guys go, just one quick one. Uh, Mzondile, what do you want to achieve in the sport? What's your goal? Uh, my goal bro, is like I wish to go overseas. Hmm. I wish to even to spar with the uh, Conor McGregor. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I wish to go overseas and come back and hmm. develop uh, the sports in South Africa, especially where I'm coming from, uh, Bamshela, because there's a lot of talent outside there. Yeah. Small guys, they are very, very talented. So I need to maybe one day when I call money, I can come back and open my own dream and, and stuff. So that's what I, yeah, want. I wish to achieve. All right, good Great luck. Story. If you're sparring with that man, you'll also be making a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank good you. luck here thank this coming you. March. Okay, that was Mzwandi um, Lechlongwa and Ferdi Basson.